It is the number you call when you need help. But our exclusive investigation reveals frightening facts about the state of 911 operations in Ohio. Investigator Sarah Buddison is here tonight to tell us what she uncovered. Danita, these are state surveys about 911 training. The responses might scare you. We found dispatchers dealing with life and death situations don't always get the training they say they need. The call is chilling. Help me. I got fire department going. I don't know what to do. The last moments of Lisa Roswell's life were captured on a 911 call. After floodwater swept her car into a creek off South Norwalk Road last February. Okay, just kind of sit still, stay there while you're not moving. You, you don't want to do anything that's going to make it worse, okay? Our exclusive on your side investigation revealed the 911 dispatcher gave Roswell the wrong information. Our recommendation uh, in a submerged vehicle accident is to try to get out of that vehicle. And as, as quickly as you can. First Lieutenant Mike Crum showed us how when he gave us exclusive access to his class on submerged vehicle rescues at the Michigan State Police Training Academy. The emotions are high in calls like this. We also found Ohio 911 dispatchers are not trained to handle submerged vehicle accidents. It's pretty typical that a dispatcher wouldn't know how to handle that situation. They're going to have to go off their training experience to, to find the best solution. Our investigation did not stop there. It makes me a little nervous. After Wadsworth Communication Officer Mike Banks, who has trained 911 dispatchers for close to a decade, told us his concerns for callers. You know, the type of service they're going to get if they need to call 911, you know, depends on the comm center that gets the call. Our investigation led us here to the state capitol where we discovered there aren't any training requirements for 911 dispatchers and there isn't anyone here at the state making sure those dispatchers are doing a good job. We obtained copies of a state survey sent to every Ohio county last year asking about training for 911 dispatchers. 23 counties said they need more training. Three counties said 911 dispatchers have limited or minimal training. And when asked how much training their 911 dispatchers received, four counties replied none. If you have any doubt the lack of training is dangerous, take a look at what a Fayette County official wrote. He said when problems arise, it seems to always revert back to lack of training. The results frustrate banks. The life of every one of our cars can be at stake and we need to provide a minimum response to their needs. So we shared the results of our investigation and Lisa Roswell's story with Ohio Representative Bill Patman. It was something that reached and then touched uh, a deep spot in me. As a result, Patman proposed a new law this week to create mandatory training requirements for 911 dispatchers, including instructions on how to handle submerged vehicle accidents. We. Uh, want to make sure that they have the tools necessary to save a life. Lisa Roswell drowned before rescuers could reach her. No one can say for sure whether better 911 training would have saved her life. But Banks thinks it would help save someone else. I don't think anybody works in this field with the intent of causing harm. They want to do good, but not everybody's given the same chance. We're keeping track of Representative Patman's legislation and we'll let you know what happens with the 911 law. Well, Sarah, I know your report focused on the state of Ohio, but do other states have similar 911 issues? Well, Donito, we found Ohio is unusual. According to a national training organization, most states already require 911 training for dispatchers, including all five states that surround Ohio. Very interesting. Thank you very much, Sarah.